Max has a big and beefy form that usually can't be completed in one sitting. How can he most easily let his customers pick up where they left off? Let's find out on today's Azaz. Welcome to Ask Zanad Anything About Zoho. I'm Greg Belknap, and today's question comes from Max Media, which I'm also not sure if that's a person or a company. I'll let you all be the judge. Max asks, I have a three-page Zoho form. Sometimes it takes a respondent several weeks to complete the form. Often, my clients request that I send the form link to them again to a partially filled out form because the original email is lost, but they don't want to start over. Is there a way to create an email template so I don't have to dig it up and cut and paste it manually? A very valid question from Mac. The short answer is yes and no. I know that sounds unhelpful, but I promise I do have some advice for improving your user's experience. First off, for anyone that hasn't used it before, let's take a look at how to set up the save and resume options in Zoho form. So over here, I have a three page form for a job application. That's something that people could often take several sessions to complete. To enable save and resume, we go up to settings, then scroll to submissions and storage, and the first option, save and resume. Here you'll click on enable, and now your submit button will be replaced with a save button. You can also change the label of the save button here to whatever you'd like. And when the save button is clicked by your users, a link to resume the form will appear on the forms page. Let's see what that looks like. Now the save and resume option is only accessible from the public version of the form. So if you try to just click access form here, you won't see it activated. So we're going to select it from the share page, sharing it with public users. Now if I head here and I wanted to say, I'll put in just my first name, and you know what, I'm already too busy, I gotta get going. I'm going to hit save, and it's going to offer me a link to resume the form later. I could copy it from right here, or I can put in my email address uh, to have it sent to me that way. There's also an option for tying a specific field on the form to pre-fill this email address, which can be done by going into the settings again, back to submissions and storage, and under the save and resume options, you have this checkbox for allowing respondents to receive the saved forms link via email. If I click on edit email template, I can select the two to be tied to a specific field on my form somewhere. So in this case, I have it tied to the email field on the first. So if I were to come back here, and if I had filled in my email address first, then you can see when I go to save, that email has already been filled in and can't be changed after the fact. So if I click to send this to myself, the link has been successfully emailed to my inbox. Now, one important caveat is that once you've saved it the first time and sent that email, that email is only going to appear once. If I click on save again, even if I fill in new information, it will let me know that it has saved the form, but saying that the link has already been emailed because the link doesn't change no matter how many times you end up saving it. Subsequent saves will be followed with this link already emailed message. To access the link from within the forms application, we'll go to the form in the forms listing, and I'm going to select all entries. Next, I'm going to click on the little drop down menu that says all entries and scroll down to partially saved entries. And here I will see all of the partial submissions that the person has clicked on that save button. Then I scroll all the way to the right and I get the saved form URL. This is the URL that they can use to resume their particular submission. Obviously, all of this clicking was what Max Media was hoping to avoid. So Max, I'm sorry to say that there's no quick and easy way around this. As you may have noticed, up here, despite clicking all of these buttons and selecting the partial saved entries, the URL up here never changed. We can't even create like a shortcut to this. You have to go to the form, select all entries, then select partially saved entries, and then scroll all the way over to the right. And unfortunately, Zoho Forms doesn't have a public REST API, nor does partially saving a form entry trigger any kind of Zoho flow action. So are you completely stuck? I don't think so. 
my primary recommendation is trying to make use of the tools that Zoho has available and optimize your customer's ability to find it later. So my primary recommendation is crafting the ideal save and resume email template. Let's go back into our form settings. And here under the save and resume settings, I'm gonna click on edit email template. This is what the default template is. It's a subject line saying resume filling out and then your form name and a body of your progress has been saved. Use the link below to continue filling the form. Something important I think is that this email template by default doesn't include any of those caveats that I mentioned before about the link not changing and as well about how the email will only be sent this one time. So I would say be sure to include in the language of the template that kind of language, letting them know, please note, will only be sent once. We recommend you favorite or star this email to find it at your convenience later. And of course I didn't spell convenience right because nobody ever spells convenience right the first time. To me, convenience is like the equivalent of trying to plug in a USB and you're always trying to figure out if it goes up or down. Once you've got all of your spell checking out of the way, you can also add additional keywords to the subject line that makes it easier for your users to find it later. For example, your company name is not included anywhere here by default. They can probably just search based on your email domain, but it doesn't hurt to also add in your company's name in the subject line. Just makes it that much easier for them to search. If you know that there are particular fields on the form that you're submitting, you can include merge fields from the partially filled form in both the subject line as well as the body. Now, unfortunately, there aren't any conditional terms here where if this is empty, I want to show one thing versus another. It can help you add that much more information, making it easier for your customers to find this email after the fact. And that is how you can best set yourself up for the most success with your Zoho forms. From Zanata Consulting, I'm Greg Belknap. If you would like more Zoho expertise, please visit us at zanata.com or subscribe here on YouTube. We'll see you in the next video.